What's up? I should probably stick my ears out of the hoodie here. That would be fun. <laughs> I look so dumb. What's up? In the store right now, uh, store hours, gotta keep my mask on, keep it real with y'all. So uh, yeah, I just kinda wanna have a, a fun little short video, give you all a tour of this like pseudo store, office space, creative space. It's not really like a full on store. Um, I kinda come here, have fun, may uh, start streaming, do the video editing. But uh, yeah, it is, it's a makeshift store. So I thought, hey, might as well give y'all a tour because not everyone can make it to the shop who may want to come here. Uh, some of you are out of state or out of country even. So uh, yeah, I wanna give you a, a somewhat uh, scuffed tour. Uh, probably not gonna be a very quality video if I'm being honest with you, but uh, it's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So let's go ahead and do it as if you just walked in. This is the shop. First off, to the right here, things uh, that I love, desk mats. I, I try and keep a fairly big stock of desk mats in. It's always nice to have a, a big old selection. I think right now I have like a hundred something in and that's uh, between the regular like 900 by 400 millimeter and then also the uh, I think 370 by 150. Those are nice, I just got those in. But all the desk mats on the right side there, as well as going up, we have some custom cables. You can go ahead and see that there. Got those made by Taro Cables, and uh, they're actually really nice. I kept one for myself. Up there you have the Box 60 and the uh, Box 60, I think, Cyberspace. This is the Cone Momo, and that one's the uh, Cyberspace, I believe. Some boxes for the boards that we'll see in a second. Moving over to the left here, we have the Escape Keyboards Palm Jelly Keycaps. Uh, all of these are the blanks because they didn't have the ones with the etched in Legends at the time, so I was only able to get the blank ones. But either way, I do like them. I wanna build a board with the Palm Jelly Keycaps, but I haven't had a chance to really uh, to make a build for it yet. I'm still trying to think of what I would want to, uh, or which board I would wanna build and put those on. And then moving down from there, we have some miscellaneous stuff. A uh, couple different switches here. I don't have a lot of switches in stock. It's something I've been uh, getting asked about more and more is, oh, are you gonna carry uh, some different types of switches? I want to, it's just kind of hard getting uh, in stock switches or something that I don't have to wait a long time like the group buys for. I'd rather just be able to buy them wholesale in stock, but I haven't really found the connect for that yet. So working on that. Then we got some stabs. I got the Bolsa Supply stabilizers in stock. They're nice, I use them on my boards. Definitely like them, uh, I've sold quite a few too. Then just some stem pickers, switch pullers, and switch openers, nothing too crazy. And these are also actually Bolsa Supply. And then pivoting back towards the desk mats here, I think the desk mats are the best seller in store because although I, I really am trying to focus keycaps and I have sold a good amount, I'm actually really low on stock for uh, keycaps right now. Desk mats online, although they're like between 25 and $30, the shipping is always like 10 to 15, so it pumps up that price to like 45 or 50 bucks for sometimes for desk mats. So although I kind of price them over retail, it really cuts out all the shipping costs for people who are able to come in store and grab them. So it ends up being sometimes cheaper or just maybe a dollar or two pricier, but people like to come in and then see them. So there's the trade off there. Some of my favorites are the Fuji. Definitely like that one. I have one for myself. The Cityscape, which I actually think I only have a couple left. I sold one today. I took a photo of this for Instagram with a KBD 67 light and I thought that turned out really nice. And then again, Balsa Supply desk mats down there as well as up here we have the uh, smaller variants, the 370 by 150 I think I said before. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is that what it says on the tag? Yes it is, 370 by 150 millimeter. Fairly good size, if you want something just to put under your like 60% or 65, that would definitely fit. Or have a uh, kind of a rectangular mouse pad, I guess that works too. And then moving on from desk mats, let's go ahead and look at the boards. This is kind of just my little board setup over here. Nothing too crazy. I have a Bach in stock, no uh, rhyme intended there. I had a polycarbonate one of those, but it had sold. I just have the E-White now. Very, very beautiful board. It does look nice. I have a, I get a lot of messages about it, but for some reason the E-White's still here. Have a Pollen 65 in stock, KBD Fans D45, and a Matrix Noah. I also had a pink one, but that had sold. I built it for a buddy, and uh, he really enjoyed that. And then above the boards, we have all of the keycaps. This is uh, not everything I own, but it's everything that I 
am willing to sell at the moment. I do have some more sets that I'm sitting on, but everything in store is the stuff I'm really willing to let go. It's kind of weird because it's like a hobby and a business, right? But at the same time, it's like, oh, I kind of want to keep some stuff for myself. So I'm not going to put it in store. I have been trying to buy more lately, but I mean, for some reason, all the stuff I've been trying to buy, people aren't really selling. I don't know why uh, certain GMK sets I have been looking for are either like way too pricey or just, yeah, I can't find them on MechMarker or anything like that. But I've been making a lot of posts. If you do have stuff you want to sell, hit me up on Discord. I'm pretty much always buying either local or if you want to ship it out, all you just let me know. But there's all the keycaps. And then if we do a 180 over here, I have this little, I don't know, it's not like a lounge area. It's kind of like a little desk work area. I got this bunny. I love this thing. This is a, a Miffy, super deflated right now, unfortunately. But uh, I got this in Japan and it's a Medicon Toys slash Miffy collaboration. And I think it just looks really cool. It's a nice display. You can actually sit on it. It holds up to like 250 pounds or something, but I think it looks nice next to this Costco chair that I got, and uh, that's kind of comfortable to sit on. This little desk area here, I do uh, photo shoots here. Ooh, this is fun. I get to show off what's in the fridge, the little mini fridge and freezer. This is like MTV Cribs. Freezer, there's nothing in there. I don't, yeah, there's nothing in there. It's just empty. But in here, this really shows off my lifestyle. You know, I got water and zero calorie Powerade, and one of these little AHA drinks, caffeinated. I don't really drink anything with caffeine in it, so uh, uh, I don't know why that's there. But yeah, pretty much just water and Powerade if I ever get thirsty while at the shop. Now moving on into this messy corner here. Man, I don't, I don't even know what to say. This thing is a, uh, it's kind of wild over here. I got a lot of stuff going on. Tons of Pokemon cards, some uh, desk mats I'm just keeping in storage. Uh, There's another screen that I have yet to put up some boards over there, those are my personals, and uh, just some random stuff on the couch. Personal desk mats that uh, I took off the shelf and keeping them for myself. This is like a weird hybrid storage area, and uh, the Pokemon cards, I have tons and tons of Pokemon cards over here uh, in this crate too, right there. I'd say every week, every other week, some buddies would come over and we'll rip some cards. I, I mainly spectate, but I'll, I'll give it to them pretty much for what I paid for at this point. I have a ton of cards that I'm sitting on. Uh, I used to rip so heavy. But yeah, so this is uh, that, the mess in this corner here. A lot of Pokemon cards. I am uh, genuinely embarrassed to admit how much I've spent on Pokemon. But moving on from that, yeah, couch, just desk mats that uh, I am keeping personally. Um, behind that is just some storage. There's like extra extra grass and stuff behind there. Moving on to this little desk area. Actually, what's probably more interesting is above that, all these little toys and trinkets that I uh, have uh, collected over time. And then there is my girlfriend right there, Belle Delphine. Shout out Belle Delphine. Definitely a big fan. <laughs> Can't even say that with a, with a straight face. Um, yeah, just some figures, some Gundams, uh, random stuff. I got like uh, got that for my birthday as well as like an Eva figure. Shout out Marble Soda, very cool. It's a car brand if you're uh, into the JDM scene. And yeah, just some personal boards and keycaps and whatnot. Nothing too crazy up here, just kind of a nice little backdrop. Some skateboards, shout out uh, Jeremy Klein hookups. I unfortunately cannot show you guys these boards on screen. Uh, um, they're not kid friendly, as some might say. And here goes my gimbal, it's, it's freaking out now. And whoa, doing a 360 there, that's cool. Can you stop making a, a fool of me right now? But yeah, that's all those little decorations, that corner there, a little uh, peek into uh, things I like. Secret Labs chair, got this for a deal too. Honestly, if you're looking for a chair or anything like that, check OfferUp, check Facebook Marketplace. I got this essentially brand new for I think it was a hundred and eighty bucks the guy just like he sat on it for a week and he's like yeah just it didn't work for my back support so he ended up buying a Herman Miller chair uh, that's a whole nother story but yeah I got this like essentially brand new for 180 bucks I think retails like four four fifty something like that I don't quote me on that but it's it's up there so if you're ever looking for uh you know stuff like that offer up Facebook marketplace is always the way to go uh, my desk here it's where uh, all the magic happens, where all the editing goes on. Um, 
Yeah, ooh, a little square reader. That's how I check people out and uh, take orders. Two boards on the desk right now. Let's go ahead and take a peek. The Matrix Noah that I, I never use. Oh, there we go, the camera's tilting again. Next to that is a KBD 67 Lite. Built that a couple weeks ago, have been using it, and it's uh, it's not bad, I like it. It's nothing crazy, but, but yeah, for like a 120 bucks, the KBD 67 Lite, it's not a bad deal. I think it's a, a pretty decent kit, and if you're looking to get into the hobby, that's uh, something you should definitely check out. But yeah, it's kind of uh, the little tour of typology for those of you who can't make it, who are out of state, out of country, wherever you are. Um, always try to make changes to the shop. I mean, literally today I got like 30, 40 plus desk mats. Uh, I was running low, so I had to put in a few orders. I uh, got those in. I just got in GMK Sloth, uh, an MT3 kit. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. These lights are uh, clutch, super clutch. I use them as just like regular lighting as well as when I'm filming. I will always uh, add some extra light there. But there you go, there is my, my messy little uh, office space slash makeshift keyboard shop. I hope you uh, all enjoyed this a little, a little tour here. I don't really know how to uh, do an outro, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs>